Welcome back, party people. I feel bad because I realized that I really should have just ended the stream or the Let's Play episode last time while Nico was sleeping, so I didn't have to go through this again. But I messed up, so I'm sorry, Nico. Dot dot dot. I'm back. I don't think anyone else is noticing it either. Am I the only one who's seeing this? <laughs> oh no. So that's where we had the dream, right? Yeah. So we have to go have some kind of dramatic ass shit. Oh yeah, here's our friend. Do they have anything to say? I'm losing so much time. I'm not even timing it anymore. I hate this. Oh no, what is he... What, what is he losing time on? Oh, there's a glitchy. Can't go there. More little squares. Oh, there's lots of... lots of places. Uh, but not many of them we can actually go, it looks like. Yeah. Oh boy. This place makes me so nervous. What was this, a diner? What? Who's this cutie? Oh, hi there. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because the ground access elevator is broken? So I've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Now the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. Until now, anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, the tall guy came in here earlier saying the same thing. He asked me if I'd seen a button that says ground on it. He looked pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. He, um... He didn't get it. <laughs> Got anything else to say? I see him around a lot, but he never seems to have time to eat a proper meal. He kind of just rushes in here, drinks a whole pot of coffee, and then rushes back out. He uh, really takes his job to the extreme. I mean, it's an important job, but nothing is worth that amount of stress, I think. What does he do? Maintenance, I believe. <laughs> Something to do with the lights, but I don't know the details. Maybe you can ask him later? Hmm. It's an empty coffee tin. Aw, yeah! Coffee machine is nearly full. Milk and sugar. I like both, but not in coffee. <laughs> That's right, you're a babby. Oh, you're still here. Would you, um, like anything? I can cook something for you if you want. It's alright, thank you. Nico, you never partake of anybody's food. I was never able to eat that stew that the nice bird lady offered. And you- wait. No, you definitely eat food because of the pancakes. For a second I was wondering, like, is Nico some- actually some automaton that can't eat food? <laughs> That would be awful. Wait, do we really know that Nico's not an automaton with like, with like implanted memories? Like Nico's actually a robot? Uh, did you eat anything at any point? I don't think so. And then, um, um, let's see, you've been shocked. Do you, I don't remember you feeling cold or hot. Oh no, Nico, oh no, are you a robot? <laughs> It's a small tree. Good evening. Nope. I'm doing the same voice I always do. Oh, well, whatever. Well, the time of day doesn't really mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. <laughs> then how can you tell? In time, I mean. I have my ways. <laughs> you have a clock face. Nico, you silly. Good evening. Your time here is precious. Please do cherish it. I will. It's a small tree. A stapler is bolted to the table. <laughs> a type dispenser is bolted to the table. That's bullshit. They are just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use though. <laughs> okay, so if we need to staple or tape anything. Oh wait, we can look at my... Oh yeah, I have all this stuff still. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that that water, that maybe I was supposed to get dirt somewhere else and I missed it, like maybe in the Barrens. Look can made of aluminum, says coffee grounds. Unless that can be used as dirt? Uh, uh, some kind of computer terminal. I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually, the surface access elevator appears to be broken. There's a button missing and can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I can go down here. <gasps> it's quiet in here. Oh, shit. Okay, there's a heavy piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door or some kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. 
Oh, 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 I think this might be um, the DLC, the Solstice thing. Because I, I, I remember seeing something up there. Like, it, there was like a timer there. Because cause, uh, <laughs> Night Margin was tweeting about how now that they've played Steins Gate, the timer reminded them of the one in Steins Gate. I guess it's not a timer in Steins Gate, it's a thing that shows how far you are from the Alpha timeline. But obviously I will be doing that. So I guess that'll be like a second playthrough thing. Because I, I guess I don't have the Solstice DLC yet? Well, I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people, I guess most of this world's population lives here. We haven't seen many of them though. Is it just the area we're in? Hmm. It's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams from a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. What about you, Mary? Where do you live? I live in a city. A city like this? Well, <laughs> not a city like this. A smaller city. I can't imagine living in a city. It must be exciting and kind of scary. The view is nice, though. I live in a mid-sized town. Oh, oh, wait, which one do I... Which one do I... Let's keep going left for now. It's a very long path. Oh, there's another st stairway down. Or is that the same one? Is this looping? Oh, maybe that... Yeah, the stairway that we saw was the one that we came in on. And this is a big uh, circle. Oh yeah, because presumably, you know, if this world uh, follows Euclidean geometry, which who knows, this would be like a very small area, since it's like the center circle. Yeah, so we're here. But yeah, apparently this timer was counting down like real last time until the DLC got released. So uh, people who played it before a certain time were able to see it counting down. <gasps> You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange pan transparent sheet. Transparent sheet? Weird film. A transparent sheet filled with numbers. Okay, I have to expose it to the void. Numbers. Wait, was that... Okay, that, that's just the film. So that's that, I wasn't combining them. I guess you can't combine them. Huh. Okay, I gotta expose it to the void. To the void fish. No voids in here that I know of. Wait, what did this say? Yeah, just some kind of computer terminal. Normally that guy asked me to do something on my computer, but I don't know what it would mean to expose the film to the void on my computer. Okay, so, unless the void is like when I close the game, but you're not supposed to do that in the original original way that the game worked. We should get going now, Mary. Hmm. Oh, sorry about the trash on the floor. I was going to throw it out earlier, but then my coworkers caught on fire and I had to drop everything to help them. <laughs> They're fine now, though. It's a good thing fire doesn't hurt robots, huh? Okay. Ah, uh, should I try closing the game? I'm gonna try that real quick just to see if that's the case. But I assume it shouldn't be. Nico, I'm back. Hi, Mari. Welcome back. <laughs> oh. Okay, did, did that do anything? Nah. How do I expose you to the void? Normally you'd have to like expose it to light, right? 
Oh wait, I could probably talk to that guy again for a hint. I'm stupid. Oh, and I keep forgetting I can quick travel. I never remember that. Um... I'm gonna make sure the coffee grounds don't count as dirt. There's some dirt in this pot. Will he really grow like this? Damn it! Damn it! All right, dude. I need a hint. Hint, please. Still clueless. Figures. Want another tip? Yeah. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours. The edges of your viewpoint, where everything is obscured. To bind our world to yours. Okay, that would normally be my desktop, though, right? I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Pass the film through the void and back again. Can I, like, grab it with my mouse? Am I supposed to move it around? Oh no, that's gonna screw up my capture, though. Like this. Oh! I had to actually, like, move it off my proper screen. Oh no. Can I get this? Can I get this centered right? This is how I had to capture it so that I could see the pop-up windows. Oh no, see, now it's a little too high. There we go. I think I got it lined up right now. Okay, so 6301... 63014. 63014. Okay. Whatever, your arsehole. Wait, but I don't know where I needed to use those numbers. Oh no. 63014. Actually, maybe I should just talk to him again. I got the numbers. Will he know that I got the numbers? The screen is off. Oh, he's, he's done with me. Or she. I don't know. But that was really cool that he said, um, you know, those four walls connect their world to our world. And, it, and he was actually talking about the edges of my screen, not even the edges of the game window. Which really reinforces my point that this is Digimon Digital Monsters world, I think. They live inside the computer, not necessarily the game world. Oh wait, I don't think I've been over here yet. What is this music? What does this signify? It's making me sad already. Oh no. Oh no. No. What's this? Robot. Are you an intruder? Because if you are, I, Model X, <laughs> 8XM, Home Security Bot, TM, Serial Number, will have to report you. Oh sorry, I kind of just walked in because the door was unlocked. Do you want me to leave? Scanning for suspicious activity. Suspicious activity detected? Zero. Well, I guess as long as I don't do anything bad. It's off. Mary, someone lives here. We can't just sleep in their bed. <laughs> How dare you use logic with me, Nico? What this? Is this like a landscape painting? Abstract painting? Is this a wall, I guess? A table? A sofa? Well, Shaiza. I'm still very. I don't like this music. What's he in here? It's a wall of family photos. Oh, there, there, there's some kind of girl. Okay. Oh no, what? What? What the heck? That's not okay. She seems very sad. It's a pink flower. This is a penguin. It's a big penguin plush. Hello, penguin. Hello. Oh, it did fuck. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. That's ridiculous. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna see if she likes any of my things. She didn't like anything. Picture of many ones and zeros. <laughs> a painting of four robots playing cards. It's a robo home. Hello. 
My parents are like literally never home, but I don't mind, I'm used to it. Besides, I've got Model C WT second gen unit 4E here to keep me company now. She still takes a little, talks a little weird sometimes, but that's okay, she's learning. If I work real hard, she might even be tame someday. I keep hearing that word. What, tame? Mm-hmm. Nobody's told me what it means yet. It's just a robot thing. I can't really explain it either. Oh. <laughs> what? Can they just like teach them how to act sentient by uh, interacting with people enough? Pile of large books. One of them is a robot instruction manual. So she's a robo enthusiast. Hello, would you like to play a game? Oh, sure. What game would you like to play? Mm, do you know rock, paper, scissors? Desired difficulty level? Huh? Desired duration of turns? Um, please set your timer. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. You're not good at games yet, robot. Alright, what we got here? A sheep. Picture of a ram wearing a little pink bow. It's a landscape portrait of the glen. Oh, is this a, a Glen enthusiast? Oh, oh, this must be the person that moved to the city from the Glen. I just moved here from the Glen. Things are so different in the city. You've been to the Glen, right? Yeah. Everything's so green back there. I really miss it. My neighbor gave me some plants to cheer me up, but... I should probably get a muzzle for Betsy there. <laughs> oh, you ate the plants. Oop. Oh yeah, here's the plants. The remains of a potted plant. <laughs> Something's been chewing on this plant. <laughs> The title is City Life, what to expect? <laughs> oh man, how much is left of this plant? The entire plant was eaten. What have you done? Making your owner miserable. Alright, what about this? What? Oh, it's a Roomba. I'm not sure what this is. It's like a little car. <laughs> you should ride on it. What? Do it. Um. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thank you for this little gift, game designer people. Beep, 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 beep. Alright, what is it? Is this on? It's off? No. That's a key. I guess there's nothing else to do in this room, though. That's just a little, little something to lift your spirits. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Cat on a Roomba. Pot of plant. This one has a pink flower on it. Whoa, lots of plants. Is this person. Is there a head of pot? <laughs> yes, it is. Hello there. You have a lot of plants. I do. I grew all these myself, you see. Feel free to ask me about them. Oh, you're a gardener, right? Yep. Do you happen to have any dirt? <gasps> For growing plants, I mean. Yep. Do you need some? Yes. I suppose to. I'm supposed to plant the seed left behind by a plant lady, but the pot on the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, here, take this whole bag. Thanks! Yes, we got- oh, thank goodness, we got dirt. It's a phosphor tree. Oh, like the ones we saw in the glen. I always wondered, where are the leaves? They're not dead, are they? No, not at all. Although these trees are composed of a woody tissue, they're closer to grass anatomy-wise. So all the branches are actually leaves? Sorta. What's interesting about these plants is the amount of phosphor sap they can generate. Phosphor, that's the glowy stuff, right? Yep. Phosphor can store light energy and slowly emit it over time. Most of the phosphor from this world still contains energy from when the sun went out. Without the sun to recharge them, though, well, let's talk about something else. <laughs> it's sweet. Why is it in a flower pot? Well, it doesn't look, 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 look nice. I guess. I like to stand in the middle of the wheat field back in my village. Uh, it goes on for miles. Uh, I wish I could have seen that. In our world, wheat is usually only grown in small isolated plots. Or in a flower pot. Uh, this is a tree? This tree has leaves! Ah uh, yes, the true foliage is hard to come by nowadays. You hardly ever see trees like this in the wild anymore. And the ones you do see are pretty much all raised artificially by people like me, mostly for nostalgia purposes. Ah, uh, jeez. So it must have been a while since the sun went out then. Small garden trowel, the ha handle part is shaped like an owl? I get it. <laughs> this is a trowel owl. But look at that little face! I get it! It's, it actually made the nya face. <laughs> Filled with plant clippings. A watering can. It's half full. Cactus. 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 <laughs> Cactus doing just fine. Be sure not to touch those. Those are the plant. Those plants. Th these are the plants have only recently sprouted. 
That's not a crag sentence. <laughs> it's not easy for a plant to make it out there these days. We got these growing lamps, but they're a poor substitute for the sun. I have the sun right here. I should be able to, to use it on them. Oh, the sprouts are stretching towards the sun. Yeah, here, have some sun. <laughs> sun for you. Hey, do you like the sun? Even if facing the flooding issues, it's still in better condition than the other two areas. The Barrens is, well, the Barrens, and Refuge City has barely enough ground to stand on, let alone grow stuff. On a larger scale than this, I mean. Alright. I got dirt, so we, we gotta travel. Oh, oh I, I guess I have to leave this place. Coffee machine. It's very warm. Coffee cups. I'm too young to drink coffee. <laughs> Pile of large books. They look like phone books. A photograph of the city sky skyline. A photograph of some buildings. Pile of large books. Some of the pages are dog-eared. Ah, uh, yeah, if you have people with different heads, you gotta have a TV head. That's requisite. Hey there. Hello. You the messiah? Mm-hmm. I like your scarf. <laughs> Thank you. Mom made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. <laughs> I will. When I see her again. <laughs> you have a nice scarf too. You have a very anime scarf. You're like Lord Kanti. Whoa, what's this zone? This bridge has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in handy? I hope nobody won't mind us taking them. <laughs> oh, Nico. Pretty mercenary of ya. Alright, so we got magnets now. What's down here? Small pod plant. It's a sink. What the heck? What's this? It's a pair of scissors on the ground on a pile of hair. I don't think anyone's using it anymore, so... What, someone, someone was just like cutting all their hair off? What's up with that? Someone with brown hair. Huh. Doors locked from the inside. Oh, I can't go in there. Alright, so I can fast travel here, right? Yeah, go to the garden. Alright, I got some shit for you. I got... got dirt. I hope this helps you grow a little... seed. The seed's in the soil, but it looks a bit dry. Yeah, oh, if only we had something to water it! Good thinking, Mary. Water should help the seed grow. The dirt's nice and moist now, but what if it dries out? There's only so much water from this little tube. I'll hold on to the tube for now, just in case. Wait. D is that not enough water? Oh, do I need to, like, get some more water somewhere? Ah, oh, did I see water anywhere here? I don't remember seeing water. Oh, but maybe I could, like, fill it in a sink. Wait, so, okay, I have magnets, scissors... There's nothing I need to tape or staple, is there? If I cut off a piece of tape to keep it, it would just lose its stickiness. Stapler. It's pulled it to the table. So there has to be a reason for these things. And I have so many things in my inventory. Can I not use them yet? I can't imagine having to tape or staple any of these things. Oh, I can cut out a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape, just like arts and crafts. Mm, I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. Uh, how are we going to connect it to the elevator? Well, let's find out. Oh! <laughs> oh, because of, because of coffee grounds? I... oh my god. Are you serious with this shit? That's cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I made a button that says ground. Is that sufficient? I mean, really, as long as whatever is being depressed by the button is there, it, it should work. You really shouldn't need a button, per se. 
the button fits snugly in the slot, but I'm not sure how to connect it. Hmm. All I know is that the button works by some kind of magnetic technology. Don't ask me how magnets work, though. I didn't even finish high school. <laughs> Are you from this world, dude? Uh, but of course we have magnets. The magnets don't stick to the aluminum, but oh, what if I just folded the magnets under this edge? Hmm, it's holding it together just barely. I hope that's good enough. <laughs> Magnetized? Question mark button. Alright, let's hope this works. The button fixed snugly, and I think I hear the machine powering up. The button completely fell apart. Hey, you tried. Oh well. Oh, I always need to tape it. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's called You Tried. Well, uh, office. Tape dispenser. Oh, I could hold it together with tape. I should have done this in the first place. <laughs> Alright, taped button. Oh. You tried freaking making fun of me. Let's hope this works. <laughs> uh oh. Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. Those squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door and. Oh, nah, the square stuff happens all the time. I mean, the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Well, I guess we should look for a code, Mary. Ah, there we go. Alright, and it was 63014. It needs a code. Please input security code. 63013014. What? It works. I don't know what you did, but it actually works. Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? <laughs> well, I had help from Mary, too. Oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. Oh, thank you for holding the elevator door open for me, mister. No problem, hop in. <laughs> what is your deal? I wonder if he's supposed to be from Earth. <laughs> Reveal your secrets to me. Sure is taking a while. Mm hmm Oh goodness gracious, I'm stuck in the elevator with the messiah and, and also literally god themselves. This is awkward. <laughs> I love how everyone is always saying like such cute like, oh goodness, or whatever. Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then? You heard me? I mean, sure. Alright, Mary, should I? Oh boy. Um... Ask about the job. So what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights mostly, but now I also deliver and refill high energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. That's what powers most of the city's stuff. Oh. We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking down. So until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. <laughs> When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. <laughs> oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. Alright, Mary, should I... Ask about the city. The city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded, too. First there were the refugees from the Barrens, and now more Glen's folks are moving in here, too. Oh? It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a, a haven by any means. That square stuff that we just saw. We get more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The land mass itself is still holding up. Which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Alright, Mary, should I? We'll ask about the library. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance. But I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. <laughs> well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Mary. <laughs> hey, dude. That's right, I'm here too. Is there a, is there a Mrs. Lantern guy? <laughs> Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Uh, Nico. Right, see you around, kid. Gotta run now. Oh no, the music is like a bad version. 
He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Mary. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. Wait, so am I, does this count as a different place? Yeah. Oh, this music is so dramatic. Oh no. Beep boop. Beep boop. <laughs> hey, dude. Sigh. You alright? Aw, oh, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know, but what do you think? I think... I think I should listen to Mary. After all, Mary helped me get this far. I will take your faith for an answer, then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. <laughs> Alright, top hat dude. This music is way too dramatic. I don't like it. I don't like any of it. Wait, what, what's up with the... Oh, I can go up here. What's here? Alleyway? What the heck? Mari, did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second, and then I saw something like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. I don't know. Bag full of trash. Gross. It's a trash bin. Make sure there's nothing in any of these. Just, I just want to be very thorough. Make sure I don't miss anything. It's a faded flyer. <laughs> what is the ram? Wait. Last. Okay. With this, a curious marking on the wall. It looks like a ram. Yeah. What about my novelty T-shirt? I see you have the club uniform. Oh, you may come in. Heck yeah! What is <laughs> secret ram club? Oh, and I got an achievo. So we meet again. Hello. Wait, aren't you from the village? Yes, but the rams are ever present in the village and city, even in your heart. Okay. <laughs> If rams wore shoes, they would have flip-flops. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Why would they have flip-flops? I used to host the official Ram Club wiki site, but we kept having page faults due to rams getting out of the server room. What? 404 four ram not found. I have no idea what any of that meant. <laughs> okay, that one I get. Mm, I guess that's it for my jokes. It cannot be helped. They were quite bad. <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> I was a flip flops, also a computer joke. What is this bat? This ram doesn't react to me at all. And said the word bot is written on his wool. <laughs> that one isn't a ram. That one is read only. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's all computer jokes. What? Oh, careful! If you touch an S ram, you're in for a shock, a static shock. <laughs> Don't bot me. Is this the... Yeah, you're here too. It's good to see you too. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad that I got to go to this place. Oh, they like it. <laughs> that was cute. An electric kettle. Looks like it's boiling water. Oh right, it's almost lunchtime. Would you like to stay for a nice cup of... Ramen? I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work with pronunciation, but it's cute. Can I can I put the water in here? Come to think of it, we're probably out of ramen. Oh. <laughs> Did the goats eat it all? I mean the rams. But that was very cute. Strangely warm in this room. <gasps> There's nyanyas! Like like not Nico nyas, like actual nyas. Kitty! Mew Mew, is this is this a person with like a, a furnace head? It looks like because they're like crouching. Kitties, are you being well well taken care of? Are you being fed and and? Oh wow, that was quite some purrin. <laughs> is oh a cat? Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes, but I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You are still welcome here. <laughs> I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got Mary to guide me. I see. 
What interesting. What an interesting guy. It's warm here. Yeah, that was my original purpose. Watching cuts? Warmth. Oh, it's a nice purpose. Yawn. Oh, you look tired. Do you wish to rest? I can't sleep now. Mary and I got stuff to do. I see. So, where did you find all your cats? They found me on their own, so I stay here now. Ah, uh, well, that is good that you're not alone, at least. I met some robots in the other area stationed all by themselves. It felt kind of bad. With robots, it is alright. We are not like people. We are typically unable to feel loneliness. Right. Well, you talk less like a robot than most other robots I've met. Maybe. Not many people frequent this part of the alley, but there are a few. One of them even lives here. I see. Wait, is that the lantern guy? Does he live here? Is he homeless? You've been here for a while. Are you sure you do not wish to stay? I'm good, thanks for the offer, though. Ah, I was hoping I could actually maybe take a nap. I have no idea how close I'm getting to the ending, but this episode's going kind of long. Hmm. Let's, let's get to the next place and then see what happens. Hey kid, want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. Mmm, <laughs> soup dumplings. What you got? Oh, you're a toaster head. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. <laughs> oh, in your head. Oh, who's this, this cool guy in a hoodie? Are you here for your photos? No. Alright then, I'll just, uh, stand here. <laughs> well, I need to talk to you later. What's this? This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting a hand of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad, though. Do you want one? It's okay, thank you. <laughs> what, Nico, why don't you want any? Wait, that's right, you've been refusing all food! Nico, what the heck? <laughs> oh no. Hey, hey, ready for me to blow your mind? Yeah? Okay, so I invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water, and then you drink the water, and then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Well, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks. Don't thank me. Go spread the word. Oh no, was I supposed to save the water to use with this? Oh no! No, 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 no! Dude, you gotta give me water to use with this. Actually, I exaggerated. The effects of the pill wear us off in like a week. But all you have to do is just take another pill. But but I don't have any water. Oh no. Can I get water somewhere? What this? Oh, another elevator? Um, it's an X. I don't like it. I don't know what... I don't know if there's anything I can do here yet. What if I hit X on the keyboard? Nah. Or is it like... Does it represent the X on my on my game window. You know what? I'm actually going to end this episode here, so I guess next one will probably be the finale with how things are going. Though, um, you know, like I said, if it's like the other games and, and there's like a better ending that I can get, I will go back and replay it and get a different ending. And there's, there's also the DLC to worry about, so, so maybe next one won't be the finale. But we'll see what happens. But thank you very much for watching. I'm scared. Oh no, no. Everyone, you have to, you have to protect, you have to help me protect this nyanya. <laughs> Wink.